What is happening, my friends? Welcome back to the channel. Let's get into Michael Chandler versus Dustin Poirier. Now, these two guys have been having a beef for some time now. A fight between the two has been talked about. There's a buzz in the air. They just had an altercation at the last UFC fight. Exchange words. Things were looking ugly. They had to be separated. But how would a fight possibly play out in that UFC cage? Let's quickly get into it. All right, starting with Michael Chandler. 36 years old, 5'7", 71 inch reach. Mixed martial arts record, 23 wins, 7 losses. 11 wins via KOTKO, 7 wins via submission. Michael Chandler has a wrestling background, some accolades and accomplishments in that realm, Division I wrestler, very experienced in mixed martial arts. His stand-up skills have come along. He's formidable on the feet, definitely has knockout power, strong wrestler as I touched on. Overall, pretty formidable grappling. Chandler is a very physically gifted fighter, always comes in shape, super strong. The man shows up to win and he puts on a show. Can't really think of a boring Michael Chandler fight. Let's talk about Dustin Poirier, 33 years old, 5'9", 72 inch reach. Mixed martial arts record, 28 wins, 7 losses, 1 no contest. 14 wins via KOTKO, 7 wins via submission. Poirier is a black belt in BJJ, another super veteran of the game. Dustin Poirier has fought a who's who in mixed martial arts. I mean, if I could just drop some names, Charles Oliveira, Conor McGregor, Dan Hooker, Habib Nurmagomedov, Max Holloway, Eddie Alvarez, Justin Gaethje, Anthony Pettis, Jim Miller, Bobby Green, Cub Swanson, Chain Sun Jung, and I could keep on going. As far as his fight style, he's a good BJJ player in mixed martial arts, but his strong point without a doubt is his stand-up. Poirier has some of the nicest boxing you're gonna see in mixed martial arts. He's got hands, he's got hands, he has power, great combinations, great timing, good counters. One of my favorite guys to watch strike, specifically boxing-wise. He's up there, Max Holloway's up there, Conor McGregor, to name some guys with some good hands. I like Calvin Cater as well. Another big thing that Dustin has going for him is his experience. He's been in the fire. He's been in there with the best. We've seen him stumble. We've seen him grow as a fighter. He always seems to come back better and stronger. Big fan of Dustin Poirier. And with him as well, name a boring Dustin Poirier fight. Dude goes in there, looks for the finish, Kill or be killed with the diamond. All right, so the matchup. How could this fight play out in that cage? Wow, this is a really good fight. It's a good fight. Um, My current feelings about it at this very moment, if I was forced to make a pick, I think I'm leaning towards Dustin Poirier. Now, Chandler's going to get him in the strength department. He's going to get him in the pure wrestling but Dustin's not a complete scrub in wrestling. He's picked up some things throughout the years. I do think Chandler could get him down. I do think, once again, Chandler's going to control the wrestling. That's without question. But Poirier, he's going to put up a fight. And in the mixed martial arts realm, you have to close the distance to get that single leg, to get that double, to get that body lock. And if you're closing the distance, you're in range to be hit. So it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. I'm not saying that Chandler has a weak chin, but these are the facts. He could get stunned. He could get knocked out. Dustin Poirier could easily do that if he lands on Chandler. The diamond got diamond hands. Heavy handed dude. He's got power. He's got great technique, which amplifies the power. I like how Dustin mixes things up, goes up top, attacks the body, back up top. Great hooks, great uppercuts. In the pure striking department, I would give the edge to Dustin Poirier. I think he's more polished. Now, who has the more raw power? I'm going to say Chandler. But that's useless if you can't land. I think Dustin Poirier has more ways to land. He just got more setups. He's trickier on the feet. And he's just more skilled. We've seen Dustin Poirier go against the heavy hitters and come out on top. Look at him versus Justin Gaethje. Conor McGregor could put people out. Dustin Poirier went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Conor, and we saw him get the better of McGregor. Poirier is no stranger to fighting knockout artists. Chandler's dangerous if he lands on you, 
he's going to hurt you or put your lights out. But again, if I had to put my money on somebody, having the edge and the stand up is going to be Dustin Poirier for me. Cardio and conditioning, about the same. I don't see either of these guys getting more tired than the other, at least from like a conditioning fitness standpoint. Now you could employ a certain strategy to get the other guy more tired. Like if Chandler starts wrestling a lot with Poirier, maybe he could drain him out, kind of like what Habib did. But base level, both of these guys always come in shape. I don't really see either one of them having a big edge in cardio and conditioning. Submission grappling for me, edge to Dustin Poirier. I think Chandler's savvy on the ground though. And you can nullify a lot of BJJ with strength and wrestling. Sometimes it's not enough, but sometimes it is. Toughness, pure grit and toughness. Both of these guys are tough. Slight edge to Dustin Poirier. Fight IQ, for me, Dustin Poirier. Fight prediction and pick. Yeah, I'm going with Dustin Poirier. I think he's fought better competition throughout the years. I think he's more experienced in the bigger fights. I like Dustin Poirier's skill set over Chandler's. I can see this fight going multiple ways. I don't see Michael Chandler catching Dustin Poirier and knocking him out, but I could see him scoring takedowns, softening up Dustin Poirier on the mat with ground and pound control. Then that might open up some stuff in the stand up as the fight progresses. If that would be the case, I could see a decision from Michael Chandler. On the flip side, I could see Dustin Poirier giving Chandler fits as far as takedowns, keeping the fight long enough on the feet to do damage, score on Michael Chandler. I certainly think that Dustin Poirier could stun Michael Chandler really bad or flat out knock him out. 100% I believe that. When I think about this fight, I see more of a decision win for Chandler and a higher probability to me that Poirier finishes Chandler. I think the boxing is going to be too much. Chandler is explosive. He's quick. But I think Dustin has some pretty slick quick hands. And the way he goes up top and rips to the body, mixes it up, I think is going to be problematic for Michael Chandler. Just cleaner technique. Cleaner technique. Chandler throws some nasty low kicks when he employs them. That may be an effective tool against Dustin Poirier. But when you throw low kicks, a counter to that is being blitzed by a right hand or straight punch. And you're susceptible to that when you throw a low kick. So Dustin may eat a few, but he may also time it and catch Michael Chandler slipping. Michael Chandler has that big punch. I believe he's orthodox or a right hand. And Dustin Poirier just has more tools on the feet. I think Dustin Poirier would survive the onslaught early on, drag the fight into the later rounds, Score on the feet against Michael Chandler, chip away at him, wear him out. I got Dustin Poirier winning this fight by a ratio of 60-40. But you guys let me know in the comment section who takes this fight and why. I think it's a banger. It's a great fight. I hope they book this one. I hope it materializes because we'd be in for a treat. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If this is your first time at the channel and you enjoy the content, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to support the channel, Click that like button, share the video. Appreciate that as always. And I will catch you guys on the next segment. And as usual, after these fights take place, we'll come back and talk about them in a recap video or in a live segment. Until then, you guys take care.